exciting find for us, wasn't it? Well, it was a first for us. We'd never found, apart from the Romans last week. <laughs> but in one in hole. In one hole. We'd never found more than one coin in one hole before. So this was like our first, like, I want to call it like a proper coin spill. It is a proper coin spill because it was one hole that just kept on giving. And, and it, was, it was so exciting. It was super exciting. So I, think, I feel like I remember it had been a long day and we hadn't found much. We started off back in the Roman field. Did we find like a little buckle? Yeah, we had we found a little buckle, yeah, a little one. We don't have a video of it. Do no, we, we don't it's because we were we were out with um We're out with we're some out filming with someone, weren't we? Yeah, so we had other people with us today. So it was a little bit hectic. Like we couldn't do as much filming as we wanted to. It was just a bit different to what we're used to. It was because yeah. we'll be more comfortable filming things when it's each other. It's just us. But when we've got other people with us it's a bit like And we had like a camera on us, didn't we? <laughs> it was... So it was a bit like off putting. So scary. It yeah, was scary. so off putting. It was scary. So I don't think we filmed anything until we got to the coin spill. But it was just so epic we couldn't Because not. we were like, okay, we need to capture this and just ig- we're gonna have to ignore that we've got like No footage. <laughs> well, we did find a buckle before then, quite a nice one as well. No, but ignore that we've got like cameras in our faces. Yeah. <laughs> We were like, I have to do the Roman fan thing. <laughs> Should we just get into it? Yeah, let's do yeah, it. Let's do it. Let's watch it. So we kicked it off and we literally just pulled the plug back. And then we were like, we've got a coin spill. We've got something big here. Because yeah. I remember it being a crazy signal. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. I I think I said to you, like, this one's like all is like all over the place. Yeah. You like, have got no idea what it's going to be. going wild. It was going wild. So, and we found, well, we found 13 coins out of this hole. Yeah. It was also like one of the proper milled silvers we probably found. It's got that lovely um, little line on it. The little line on top of the, the king's crown on top, yeah. Beautiful one. Yeah, so look, we've got about three pence halfway down the hole. Because they were all just kind of like stuck in the problem and there was a collection at the bottom. Mm. It was really exciting. They were just like pulling it? coin after coin. Coin after coin. Oh, there's another little silver. Oh, that's the shilling. The shilling's beautiful. I mean, I love the those sort of early yeah what ni- ni- 1920s shillings yeah like they're just they are a beautiful cu- coin even though they're i mean i'm trying to think when's the cut off when they stopped being solid silver um i think it's, it's around the early it's the early 1900s to 1920s was the cut off so yeah. these ones are a little bit lighter so they're what like they no i think the then? 20s ones are I don't know. You can't. You ask me facts. I don't know. <laughs> Stop Great asking Google. 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 Google it. <laughs> but I mean, look. I'm literally just poking coin after coin out of this hole. Like you can't believe it, can you? Oh man, it was like we were buzzing. We were buzzing. What came out next? What's that one? Oh, that's oh. that's the that's the sixpence. Oh, they're lovely, like the little acorn. Oh, it's beautiful. They're beautiful. Acorn design on there. I mean, not particularly old. Not something many people will probably get excited about. But for us. No. I think it's the it's the design thing that like we had such a passion for like it's the designs, isn't it? But they they are beautiful coins, and, and like um, a lot of coin spills that we find now, like a lot of them don't have silvers in them. They've no, just been they like don't. a few pennies. Um, so the fact that this one had like quite a few silvers, well, it had like, four silvers in yeah, it. Yeah, there was, was a, there was a florin, two sixpences, and a shilling. It was a good day digging. It was a great day digging. <laughs> it was a great day. I mean, the perfect find to be filmed for as well. Yeah, it like was. Like a coin spell. I remember that we also found like a some kind of like transistor vel and a shotgun cartridge at the oh, same yeah. spill. We were like, this is the contents of someone's pocket. But someone had obviously sat, had their lunch on the hill or something, and just lost. I think it just all just like fell out. All just fell I'm out. I'm surprised I didn't notice because it's a lot of well, it was stuff. A, well, we found, in the end, we found three frappances. Two half pennies, four pennies, a florin, two sixpences, and a shilling, which would have been five shillings and two pence back in the day, which is roughly about twelve quid today's money. I'd be fuming if I lost twelve quid. Yeah. And it would have gone further back in the forties. But it was probably a week's wages back then. It probably is a week's wages. <laughs> but it's all from like what World War Two era, post war era, because the, yeah. the latest date is forty nine, and then obviously these coins would have all been in circulation together. Well, we have quite a lot of, we have a bit of military history, World War Two mm. history around us, don't we? Yeah. So, I mean, easily could have been someone in the RAF dropped it. Easily, because we do find a lot of military buttons and memorabilia up on this hill. No badges yet, have we? Not oh, yet. No, no, sweetheart. Yeah, we found the sweetheart brooch, oh, which you can see on our Instagram. And it will be in an upcoming YouTube It is episode. coming up, actually, very soon. Very yeah, it soon. wasn't too long after we found this one. We had a bit of like a military run, didn't we? Mm. Have you just dropped your phone in the hole? 
I think getting in there for some... <laughs> you try to get in there for edgy, some creative angle. Edgy shots. Oh, look at that imprint. Yeah. You don't get that every day. It's beautiful soil here. But I just remember the pinpoint of just consistently going off and we were like, there can't be another one. I know one. what was going There can't crazy. be another one. So this is just like one epic digging recovery for you guys. Because it was just... I mean, uh, we wish it was a hoard. Imagine yeah. if it was when we were pulling out. I mean, that was one of the... That was one of the three pences, yeah. Yeah. Thrapence, Well, they're free pences, but they're just known as thrapences, aren't they? That's, that's the slang. The back of the day slang. We're too young for that kind of slang. Oh, no, it's How happened. half penny is the ship? The ship. Even the ship, I think, is quite a royal connection because it's such a naval image, isn't it? Mm. And the half penny was actually Roman Found's first ever coin find. Oh, yeah. Right here penny. in the back garden. That was our first ever coin find. Half penny and a navy button. Yeah, George the Sixth half penny and an eighteen hundreds naval button. Mm. Quite the naval history here in this house. Yeah, it was really exciting. That was the that was the spill so far. I don't think that's all. That's not all. No, we still that's got sort a, of a little a few. Where are where are at? Some were deep and some were just all together. No, the edge digger came very in very handy here. But there's another half penny come out. Oh, no, it's a frequent. I can't tell them. They're all muddy. They're all muddy. They're all muddy. They're all muddy. I can see why people get annoyed us in our videos where they're like, what is it? But we've cleaned these all up now and they all look really good, don't they? Yeah, they do. They do. You'll see them at the end of the video. I've yeah. cleaned up. A little, a little pride and joy. That's not often that we video. Cleaned up the no. so we'll, we'll, we'll take start pictures, doing. but we don't video, so there'll actually be some footage of that. Yeah. Oh, in fact, there's um, there's quite a funny story to tell with this, isn't there? About the cleaned up ones. Do you remember? Uh, so we cleaned them up and we were like, well, we'll, we'll take them digging with us and we'll have, because we always have a photographing session after digging. Usually up. in the evening when the sun's starting to get a bit lower or that, setting. Yeah, that perfect, Lucy's favourite light. Yeah. So we took them there and we were like, and then we hit the perfect time and we were on a hill. So we went halfway down this hill just to where the perfect light was and we were like, this is the time we're going to film it, that silver's going to be beautiful. Took all the pictures, everything. I remember it also being a very difficult, traumatic day digging. And we were like knackered, exhausted. Something had happened and I can't remember what had happened. It was a long day. It was a long oh, day. Oh, it was the Pringles candy. Oh, it was the Pringles candy. You'll find candy. out about that in an upcoming episode. Much more Roman fan tales to come. So, so we'd had a really long day and we'd sat down on the edge of this hill and we'd taken all the pictures. And we, I think we just sat down for a drink or something. Yeah. Put all the finds away that we photographed. And then we left and got in the car, got back home. A couple of days later, I'm checking the finds. And I'm like, we're missing a shilling. And we'd lost, we'd left a shilling on the side of the hill, completely lost. Oh, and the grass was long. The grass was like hella long as well. So we, we were like, like, oh my, like, and we, we didn't re like go back to recover it for quite a while. I feel like something, I, like one of us was away or we didn't go digging or we just couldn't be asked to go up the hill. So it was like a good couple of weeks before we went back for it. It was nearly a month. It was just chilling up on that side of the hill and we were like, oh, we'll find it again. I was like in my heart thinking like, it's gone now. <laughs> in the back of your mind, it was always there. Just like this sick, this, this, this shilling, just chilling there. I'm like, it's, I, she's gone. We, we couldn't even talk Oof. about it because we were so ashamed of losing it. We were it. so embarrassed. So embarrassed. But... The fact that we were like, well, we have a metal detector, we can just go back, we can just find it. So we went back yeah, and we used, what was it? We used the, the picture, you know, when you take a oh, picture. Oh, because I took a, when you take a picture on your phone, that saves or on the location. the location. So we used that to try and pinpoint where? exactly where we'd photographed the... Because it was a big hill and there were no discerning features in the hill. Yeah, I was going off literally like shapes in the tree line. <laughs> And then, to find the spot on there. It's hill. the fact that you were swinging and we were both searching the hill and then literally like two metres in front of you, you were like, there it is, there it is. Metal detector not included. Eyes only find. Eyes only find. Eyes only, only find. find. And it'd literally been like weeks of grass growth as well. Literally. And, and you just spotted that glint of silver like the it's absolute like, magpie. You like, were like, there. I magpied it. So it is, don't worry, that, that 1949 shilling is safely back in the collection. It's been reunited with it's, been, its friends. With its friends, and they're all together, as they all were in the hall. Yeah. But that was a little bit of trauma there, wasn't it? It was. I was <laughs> say, I love the... That one. The, the, the shilling. The shilling with the lion. The, the lion and the two... It's such a cool image. It is. I mean, they knew what they were doing back in this era. Yeah. I love the florin. They've got good... They had good style. They had good style. 
The coin's beautiful, this era. I just love yeah. how chunky the pennies are as well. Like, that's a proper coin. Mm. That's a proper beast to have. Was it the the shilling or was it the florin that I lost? It was the shilling. It, well, yeah, it was okay. definitely the shilling. That was why I was impressive. One. Spot, your favourite one. You lost <laughs> your favourite one. That's the one we had to go back for. Look, this is me counting. Look how nice they look all cleaned up. We got... So I think we had... So out of the pennies, we had a 1928 one, a 1927, a 1902, and a 1946. So a nice, like, 40 yeah. year period of coins there. And then we had two half pennies, a 1949 and a 1942, both the classic ship one. And then we had three frequencies, a 37, a 43, and a 42, all of the, the octagonal. <laughs> and then we had the 1922 florin, the 1926 pence, the 1945 shilling, and the 1929 sixpence. Hmm. And that was all four silvers. That's a good, yeah, it's definitely that sort of like pre and post war dates, isn't it? Yeah. Which is, in, well, it shows you how long things were in circulation for. Yeah. At this time, weren't even Victorian coins still in circulation? Because we have found coin spells afterwards which include Victorian yeah, coins like and that sort of turn of the century yeah if they include 40s and 1800s coins mm. it's interesting because well I suppose because we've had one monarch for so long we don't get that in our circuit no we don't have that mix of so it's, it's like unknown to us to have to be paying with different like monarchs Maybe. Like, I couldn't imagine it I know, I was thinking of like Charles coins. I know, I, can't, I, can't, I actually like, can't visualise it, I can't even... Little Charles Penny. Can you imagine little Charles Penny just <laughs> sitting next to a, a Queen a Lizzie Penny? Yeah. That, no. That's that's strange. Whereas like, you think about this, there was... We had Edward, we had George, we had George V, George the Sixth. like... Mm. There was like three different rulers in this. That was our biggest coin spill, so we'd love it if anyone could share with us your yeah, biggest coin spill. Yeah, share your coin spill with that. And if it's a Roman horde, we don't want to hear about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or any horde. Or Henry horde. <laughs> but no, we'd love to hear it. No, we would love to share it. And you can actually like share your finds with us in our Discord channel. Yeah, we've got a Discord channel which is just full of fellow metal textures where we all share finds and everything and so research. there's a link in the description to yeah. join. And then we're, we've got quite a busy month coming up, haven't we, Lucy? Because I believe it's not too long till the Rodney Cook weekender. Oh, yes. Roma fan will be at Rodney Cook. Super happy to spot us. Come and say hi. We'd we'll yeah. love to catch up with a few, you know, with people from the community. Yeah, oh. we'll be there with LP. Yeah, we will be there with LP. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so thank you for watching. Make sure you leave us a like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you saw. And we'll be back again next week. Yeah, thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs>